Okay, so I'm going to give you my first impressions of the Roland 555. And look, I'm just playing it with these little monitors. <laughs> um, man, in typical Jeff, I'm so proud of Jeff, man. I, I, I got to say that. I'm so proud to purvey his gear. Uh, in, in typical fashion, he has not let us down. He has delivered an amplifier here that is so different than any other amp. It's different than any of the other crap that's out there, all these analytical sounding bullshit. Uh, this amp has special technology, trans impedance, Jeff calls it. And I'll explain that more, get into the details, especially when I see you guys at the show. But this thing does what other amps don't. Most amps make their distortion at the higher frequency and their low distortion at the low frequency. This amp is absolutely the opposite. It makes its distortion, its highest distortion, at the low frequency, and then as it goes up in frequency, it the, the, the distortion vanishes. So it has a very unique seductive sound. It means that it's extremely quiet, and the vocals and the high frequency pops out of nowhere. All of a sudden, it's like you don't even expect the amp to have that limit. And then, bam, it pops off the background with a vocal that comes out of nowhere, out of like a vacuum. It's quite satisfying. It, 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 it is really something else. Look, I'll be honest with you. I was a little concerned that this amp coming out at only 150 watts, really, we don't need much more than that. But... You know, it's a $15,000 amp, fourteen nine. dollars uh, you know, with 150 watts. I was like, ooh, man, he's pushing it, you know, with those kind of specs. How are you going to really get people on board? Because they're going to prejudge it without listening to it. And you know what? Screw those people. Because when you listen to it, it you understand what Jeff Rowland is all about. In typical fashion, he has brought technology that is beyond, I mean, however he builds amps. Just listen to me now, okay? Jeff Rowland's been building amps for 50 years, okay? He's not been building amps for five years or 10 years, okay? 50 years. That's a lot of experience. Jeff knows what the hell he's doing after 50 years of design. This amp comes from a designer that's been designing audio music reprodu re reproduction amplifiers for the last 50 years, and you hear it instantly. I'm going to play a quick tune so you guys can hear what it comes from. It's I'm still in the break-in period. But I'm 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 so pleased and so happy to bring this product to market. And um I'm honored that Jeff chose me uh to to bring this to you guys as the first one to have it on the globe. And man, th th this is just incredible. Here we go with a little taste test, if you will. Here we go. Yeah, I mean, this is a fine piece of equipment. This is the Patek of amplifiers, if you will. Uh, nothing nothing sounds like this. Um, all these other brands that are, you know, lame, lameness compared to this. You guys will hear it, okay? I'm not just talking this smack. I'm bringing this smack. I'm bringing it to you at Capital Audio Fest in a week. Up in uh, Washington, D.C., Rockville, Maryland, room 725, you can come and hear the world debut of the Jeff Rowland 555. 
and see what fine artistry is with music reproduction. Instead of hackbon show-off bullshit that's analytical and hi-fi sounding dry, sterile crap, you can listen to something that connects you to the music. Some real music gear by real passionates. People that have been making amps for 50 years, not five or ten stupid years where they group together a bunch of names that they can market and try and make something flashy and whatever. This is the real deal. Let me see if I can find you another song. Uh, here's another one that I use. Okay, so my girlfriend sitting next to me, she's she started crying from the intro from that. We're using four thousand dollar speakers. Yeah, we're using a thirty thousand dollar front end, right? The playback designs, which is the most realistic, true sounding DAC you'll ever hear, and the Roland, which is so seductive that it triggers emotion. Okay, not something that you can brag that it's one hundred and sixty five thousand gay ass dollars. You know. What's 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 actually real is is the freaking music, okay? It's not how much your shit cost. Um, so this is what it's about, okay? Making people emote, making people cry, touching the music to your heart. That's what Jeff Rowland does. You can't beat that with your damn new technology. You can't beat that with your special uh, latest, greatest shit, okay? It only comes with a spirit and, and passion for music after 50 years of design, okay, uh, with excellent speaker. These speakers, five pairs are gone. Since that last video, five pairs of these are sold. Um, I've, I've, I've got 10 pairs coming in, so there's five more available. This is ridiculous for $4,000, these speakers. Teamed with this Roland amp and, and this front end, it's, it's, I mean, you guys can see, you're, you're getting a taste of what the speakers are, are, what's possible with these speakers. Let me find something else. A little different something else. Okay, so what this is called is this is called flipping the bird to the industry. Okay, so creating stuff that's not in the damn magazines and kicking the shit out of the stuff that is in the magazines. Okay, that's exactly what's going down in this room right now. We're hammering and totally redefining 
to, to, to open your mind that the magazines are simply a marketing arm for their good old boyfriends that make the speakers and the dealers that are their buddies they play golf with, then it's all a closed loop to make money, okay? It has nothing to do with quality of sound. It has nothing to do with connecting you to the music. And you guys will see this at the Capitol Audio Fest. You will go room to room and you will listen to the magical. You will listen to the boulders if they're even there. You will listen to these things and you will make a comparison for yourself. Which companies know music? Which companies know the connection? Which companies have the heart? And which companies have a damn corporation and a corporate interest and profit in mind? Because they will not connect you with the music. It will sound utterly perfect and polished, but you will not connect to the music. You will notice it sounds perfect, but I'm bored. It sounds perfect, but this, let's go to the next room. Because it won't connect you in your heart. You come to 725 to my room, you will be connected in the heart to the music, and you will understand the difference between true high-end audio, true refined, good, qual- the, the best stuff that connects you to the music for the music lovers and the other stuff for the show-offs, okay? The guys that don't understand refinement, the guys that just want the big gold Rolex sticking off their arm with the damn diamonds on it, you know? Is that the best watch? No, you know? Is, is all that other gear the best gear? No, it's not, and I'm here to prove it to you guys. I'm not just talking about it anymore. Now I'm going to prove it. So come to 725. Judge for yourself. Don't listen to me. Judge for yourself. Come in and listen. I show, I, I, Mikey, the way that Mikey walks and moves, Mikey proves and proves and proves. Okay? And that's what I'm here to show you at the Capital Audio Fest. These speakers are, are, are ridiculous. This amp is phenomenal. Um, I'm so stoked because my offerings keep getting more and more, better and better. I mean, this is unbelievable. You guys are hearing it. So thanks for joining. See you.